back to My View TV, the people's platform, the home of undiluted news, reviews, updates, and your daily dose of entertainment. Don't forget to hit the notification bell. Leave us a comment, like, share, and subscribe. I don't bring nobody forward in your future for me. Everything where you see up my natural talent. Let me tell you something. You see, when you know what to please the audience with, it's simple me. The universe always tries to give you something of value by sending you experiences to reveal your worth. For every test or struggle, a better version of you is built. Don't be focused on what you think you want and miss the real blessing of who you are becoming. A person who understands their ability to become more can manifest their unlimited potential. You are a powerful creator of solution. So guess what? Kalang out will create. I want my people, hope everybody is okay, hope everybody is alright. This is the day that the Lord has made. I know exactly if it says to finish it. Let me tell you something right now. Get up and find myself alive this morning. The amount of bull and pier me eat, but I am grateful for what I am. You understand? Me now run down the hype and live amongst my meal and go buy bun and cheese that me cannot afford. No, 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 no. But guess what, people? Grateful for life. You understand? Every day above ground is a blessing. How awesome it is to be amongst the living. And surely, 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 not amongst the dead. Member, member, good. Stick to a budget. Can't say me never did tell you no. You understand? Rocky Road is coming soon and very soon. Anyway, now, people, one of the passing things still are going under the news. I keep back and relax and we just jump right tonight. A Manchester man is charged with house breaking. And lastly, following an incident in Montpellier housing scheme in the parish on Tuesday, March 14. Charge is 27-year-old Jermaine Finley of Rock Hill District in Manchester. Report reaching our news team from the man of the police that between the hours of 7.30 a.m. and 1.45 p.m., a woman locked her house and left. Upon her return, she discovered that the house has been broken into and pieces of clothing and namstack and cash were stolen. Take a low man, woman only thinks them. You understand? Them my boy, yeah? A report was made to the police and investigation launch. Finley was arrested in Santa Cruz, St. Elizabeth on a separate charge on Tuesday and his home was searched. During the search, closing items that believed to be stolen from the woman's house were also seen in his possession. He was subsequently charged on Thursday after interview in the presence of his attorney. His court date is being finalized. Oh, land there. They take them always have attorney. Come like them, they pass speed dial. Paper, nobody can tell me nothing. Attorney and the thief, they work together. So what I said and I mean what I said, I mean, I take you back. More news. While the police spread out, a charge them, a charge them. Two men were arrested and charged by the St. Catherine South Police in connection with a shooting incident that occurred on Terminal Beach, Old Harbour Bay, St. Catherine, on Sunday, March 26. Charged with wounded with intent, possession of a permitted weapon, and unauthorized possession of ammo are 20 year old Jeffrey Lindsay, a construction worker of Terminal Road, Old Harbour, and 26 year old Wilbert Christian. This a boy and have no Christianity about him, you understand? A painter of Sharpers Lane, churchman. Boat in St. Ketchin. Report reaching our news team that about 3 p.m. a man was riding his bicycle on the beach when he was allegedly approached by Lindsay and Christian who was armed with handgun, not Bible paper because on a church business them come out. Lindsay and Christian then opened fire hitting him. The man then jumped from his bicycle and escaped. A report was made to the police and an investigation was launched. During the investigation, Lindsay and Christian were arrested when them should have get slapped away. They were formally charged after they underwent an interview session in the presence of the attorney. Their court data are being finalized. Jan no star. Never boy forget slap was still in a paper. Anyway, I can move on. New news. A 25-year-old man from Chulani was arrested and charged with wounding with intent using a firearm to commit a felony, unauthorized possession of firearm and unauthorized possession of ammunition by the Trinone police in connection with an incident that occurred in Mac Hill District, Clarkstown, in the parish on March 13. Charge is Randall Gibbs, otherwise called Pokemon. Yes, people, I saw them call him. Puku man, you understand? A painter. People, you know what is what? Them a boy, I know, say them, now got nowhere else go bad. More than in them little parish, you understand? Domestic crime, them a deal because them ever go out of port. Man, sell a port, them head back and send them back in a board box to them people. Them. Anyway, report from the Falmouth police that about 9.15 p.m., a man was at his business establishment when he was allegedly pounced upon by Gibbs, who was armed with a gun. Gibbs then fired several shots at the man, hitting him multiple times before escaping. A report was made to the police and investigation launched and Gibbs was subsequently arrested without the gun. You understand? Following a question and answer session, in the presence of his attorney, he was formally charged on Thursday. His court date is being finalized. The police and I'm you know, me tell you know, when I go for them, 
you have to go for them with a white cloth. Throw a white cloth over them and put them on lie down board. What kind of handcuff you deal with? Me not there, pan that. We don't know. Anyway, no people watch our one for our one. Kingston with a turn on the old Kingston man was charged with wounded with intent possession of a prohibited weapon and unauthorized possession of ammo following an incident in Kingston on Thursday, March 2nd. Charge is Shadane Nash, otherwise called Nash Shatter, a farmer. Well, on him now farm nothing. You understand? Everybody on a Clove Valley Road know this a boy and say, My view, this a boy, a thief, gunman, and everything in a one. Police them get a chance to push back in brain and don't do it. Report reached in a news team that about 12 30 pm, Nash and a man was engaged in a conversation when an argument developed between them. During the altercation, Nash allegedly left and returned with a firearm, then opened gunfire, hitting the man. Nash then escaped the area. A report was made to the police and the man was assisted to the hospital where he was admitted for treatment. An investigation was launched and Nash was arrested on Friday, March 31st. First, he was formally charged on Thursday after he was questioned in the presence of his attorney. His court date is being finalized. I will rather a funeral service. Remember when Balatelli scored the goal, I lift up him shirt and say, Why always me? Yeah, you remember that? I don't know what football. Football I go on this morning, so I can turn on TV and watch some football. But I don't know what I tell you, I'm going to talk about. I'm going to talk about that. Either to the police, they should have up when I say, Anyway, detective assigned to the Kingston Central Police Division as charged 23 year old Tajay Marriott, otherwise called Balatelli of Rosemary Lane, Kingston, with assault at common law, possession of a prohibited weapon, and the use of a prohibited weapon to commit an offense. This following an incident on Rum Lane in Kingston on Monday, March 26. Report the Trinidad News team that about 5.20 a.m. Marriott was among a group of men who were seen destroying a stall when a woman who was believed to be the owner of the stall approached them. Marriott reportedly pulled a firearm from his waistband and allegedly threatened to kill the woman. The woman then left the area and made a report to the police. And guess what, people? The big idiot police them. Launched an investigation and Marriott was arrested on Friday, March 31st. He was charged on Thursday, April 6th after an interview was conducted in the presence of his attorney. His court date is being finalized. I'm telling you this, people. We are ready to get a funeral. Me and tell you the truth. Hold on a bit there now. Me say, the man left all the way from another little country and come right round the corner round and then they come dead. Let me tell you what I talk about the man. Police probe death of Filipino national in Old Harbor Bay. Yeah, people. Remember, all sight of people here in Jamaica, you understand? Out of many, we are one. The St. Catherine saw police are probing circumstances which led to the death of a Filipino national in Old Harbor Bay, St. Catherine yesterday. The body of 27-year-old Ken Michael Medilla News was found on board a vessel docked in Old Harbor Bay. Investigators are probing a suspected case of suicide. Member, member, good. I don't run suicide jokes. I not say nothing. Make I move on. and over my gun. Two persons were injured in a two-vehicle crash in an over yesterday afternoon. Both drivers, one identified as Justice of the Peace and tour bus operator Walter Walker, were rushed to the hospital. Yes, people. Walter Walker. Everybody know him. He kind of drive fast and them sitting there still. You understand? The collision occurred at about 1.45 p.m. in the vicinity of the Round Hill Hotel. It's reported that Walker was driving his Nissan Caravan minibus from a tour stand when he allegedly traveled into the path of a Toyota Fila motor car which slammed into the vehicle. Well, and the, the road never clear. And we are speed out and I go, only can go and talk to that him. That is what he's doing. He's coming off a minor wherever I'm there, coming on a major. He's wrong. The impact sent both vehicles into the ditch. Both drivers sustained injury and were rushed to the hospital in serious condition. Walker, is your fault. Walker, it is your fault. Your friend them can't come and say no one is your fault. Me I tell you, say I feel your fault. Tanish by there, wait until the road clear before you come out. But no, 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 no. You know, let that speed out like say a phone on the road. Hold that lick there. So try your best, nobody dead round there. Because the man vehicle need to be fixed. You are responsible for it. Said what I said, I mean what I said. You know me already, people. And now nah, take you back. Then watch her now. Look how me go make you about that. Then people, can you believe it? This a person really has say, look upon the time. Finally, my view come and read one news one day and nobody not dead. Long gone are those days. Long gone are those days. You the really think that you are Easter and all the people go to church with the fish and bread and the slice of bun and cheese. A matter of fact, you look a round bun and a slice, a slice cheese. You must be joking. Come like a guy, you better you was coughing too hard. Anyway, people, Greenville, right in Manchester, you understand? You want to see the brother? I choke on him blood. Yeah, man. You have the picture can show the people, let me understand. Oh, so we couldn't exactly go on power go on still. But for now, 
We just want to know, say, what well, man did right road, road, right road, did it, so you understand. And the man come out in that best suit, too, you know? The man come out in that best suit, come, come, dead.